just full of emotions right now. Very honored to be here to see these men and women in their uniforms. To see the actors just have so much love and passion for this film and to be with my brother Pat, you know, I wouldn't want this any other way. I think what I hope they see is the camaraderie and the brotherhood and I hope that they see the sense of community that we had and hopefully they can recreate that in their own lives and so we can start to come together and just build that community, whether it's in the fire service or the civilian world, just to be able to have such love and compassion for each other. The way this production came together and the uh, amount of love that was put into this film, it, it just feels wonderful to be here finally. I'm so thankful to be part of this movie. This story is so personal to me. Um, from Arizona, we played a benefit concert for these guys and their families and the community uh, a few months after the, the tragedy in 2012. And so this is a really a, a five-year full circle moment for to be here today, getting a chance to honor them and honor the first responders that are here. And, and lost, this is my first time being a premiere like this. It's pretty, pretty special. It, it feels so good. I, I, I love this movie, I love this film, and um, this is the first time uh, I'm, I'm excited for an audience to see it. It's an important story. I think, you know, this story is a celebration of these guys' lives, you know what I mean? And this story is about, it's not so much about Yarnell as it is about the years leading up to that and the work these guys put in and their relationships with their family. There's, there's two strong heartbeats going on in this film. And that is the, the Granite Mountain Interagency Hotshot crew, the 20 guys, their relationship, and also the relationship between Eric Marsh and Amanda Marsh, Josh Brolin and Jennifer Connelly. And I think, um, I think people can be really surprised when they see this movie. I've been thinking a lot about this, you know, this bravery. What is this thing? What is this thing? Bravery, you know? And bravery is not, bravery is not the absence of fear. It's, there's certain individuals in the world who say, you know what, it's okay, I'm scared. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm still willing to move forward. For me personally, it was a very inspiring, you know, to, to uh, you know, the movies, it's a, it's a tragic story, but the movie f really focuses on these guys and what they were like. And it turns out that they're like the rest of us, imperfect, and they're just doing their best, but the bravery from these guys, going right to where most of us want to get the hell out of there, you know, these are guys who go in there, and um, that's inspiring. And you're doing a movie about a, a real event, and when you're lucky enough to have a, a person you're playing, to be actually be there so you can, you know, talk to him, ask him questions, and you know, get, let him give his input. That's invaluable. Wonderful feeling, especially to be here with all the brave firefighters there and honoring those guys. The cast is amazing. Uh, first of all, it was, an, it was a privilege to play Amanda Marsh, who's also here tonight. Uh, she's an extraordinary woman. Um, and it was such a joy to work with all of these uh, all of these actors, you know. Um, Josh was, most of my stuff was with Josh and um, with Jeff, and both of them are just phenomenal actors and just so much fun to work with, you know. Joe really explored the complexity of what these guys do and the impact that it had on their relationships. So, you know, I think that, that that part of it is really moving, the family stories. I think most people are like me in that they don't know what wildland firefighting is about, who these guys are. They work behind the scenes. It's incredibly difficult, backbreaking, heroic work they do every day. Any one of these actors can shoulder a movie on their own. The fact that we got them all together for this story says a lot about how powerful and how important this story is. Um, I just tried to assemble the best group of actors I could because I knew this story demanded it. And um, it was an amazing to go to set every day and work with them and watch them interact. And it was a really special experience. What I said to the actors the first day was that that spirit of brotherhood that exists between you guys, that is the most important thing in this film and that's where the heart of this movie is. So if we can capture that, I really think that's what Granite Mountain was all about. If we can capture that, then we'll have done our job and, and hopefully we did. I feel very emotionally attached to this, yet I think it's a really 
amazing film. You know, it's a celebration of these relationships and this camaraderie, and I love that. It's what I long for my whole life, and I just got it through this film. It's universal, and it represents America at its best, and American individuals at their best, and working together, and what it is to be selfless. All you got to do is see the movie. Word of mouth is going to speak for itself. Everybody who I've talked to, firemen and citizens and all that that have seen the movie, have a big reaction to it, and it's always positive. It was important to be as authentic as we could, and it was equally, if not more important, to, to have the spirit of these guys right, as opposed to these guys right. It was more about the, the, the you know, like I said, the camaraderie and who these guys were as a team, as opposed to individuals. They were individuals, obviously, but coming together, they made magic happen. Are you kidding me? This is a dream guy. Yeah. And I'm going to say this in public. They all jumped in. They, the moment that they knew what this was about, some of them even before reading the script, they jumped in. They said, we want to be a part of this. It, it was heartwarming. It was incredible. It was incredible. It's the most important thing in this whole film was the authenticity. We couldn't have this film finish and come out in theaters and have firefighters and first responders say, oh, they don't do that. We don't do it that way. That, that, that would be laughable. There's not a chance that we were showing our honor to the men of the Granite Mountain Hotshots and all of first responders in all walks of first responders' lives, anything but authenticity. And that was the most important thing. And you'll see it in the film. And I've seen this film with firefighters, and they come up to me and they say, Mike, you got it. You got this. That's how important that was. To me, this is what the flag represents, right? It's about, uh, it's about a lot of guys like this, these first responders, about the person to the left and right of you, and we had an unbelievable cast and crew make this film, and I'm just really proud to be a part of it, and tonight's a celebration of these guys who, you know, paid the ultimate sacrifice. These guys are real-life heroes, so even though they would never say that, they are. I think that it started with Joe, our director, and it's, you know, starts at the top of the call sheet with Josh Brolin, and you feel, you want to make it authentic before you want to make it like blockbuster or for general audiences. At first you want to make it for those people that you're representing and I think, I think, I think we did those guys proud. A lot of great work with a huge team, a wonderful team of producers and a massive cast as you've seen, but uh, it's so special to celebrate this movie and right now I think a movie that honors first responders, we're really excited about it. Absolutely, it was a huge honor and, and you feel a responsibility to the families, to the community in Arizona, you know, to tell a story like this with integrity. Um, so we worked very hard and, and worked very closely actually with the families and the community and the hotshot community to try and make sure every detail um, that we could uh, get right, we, we tried. Awesome. Kind of a bit of a lot of like emotion and great to see the guys. Um, you kind of understand why you do it, you know, when you have the real heroes with us. And um, I'm excited and proud of this movie, man, to be a part of it. And so it's great. I mean, it's imperative. I mean, that's why you do it. It brings your game. It's a full on responsibility and on another level. And um, it really is brings a whole different purpose to your work and I love that, you know, um, to have these families and to honor these guys. I mean, there's nothing, you know, Brolin said it earlier, there's nothing more important than to get that, you know, thank you from the family if you do, you know, so that's what you're aiming for. I honestly do feel it's a different breed. I think you're born with this kind of stuff. Um, I don't know, it's, it's a selfless, thankless gig, you know. Um, and literally daily life and death. Um, so it's a different breed, man. You, you just got to tip your hat to them and honor them when you can. And, and uh, you know, all the way from not just them, but the families, the kids and the wives that are at home as well. That's a huge part of this movie. And I think Joe did an, uh, an amazing job with that. It's such an amazing movie. I mean, it was 
is telling such a, a great story that needs to be told, but also with such great people. I mean, the cast was great. All the guys who came out and supported us, they were the real hot shots, you know, Dwayne Steinbrink, all those guys. To, just to be able to kind of do their story justice and then come here tonight and everybody celebrate that, it's just really, really special. We've spent a lot of time with Josh, you know, personally love him, but he's such a tremendous actor that, uh, you know, and, and to surround him with an ensemble like Jeff Bridges and Jennifer Conley, Taylor Kitsch, this is the best I've seen Taylor Kitsch in a long time, and he got a different type of role that, than, uh, than he's been doing. Um, so it's going to be really, really exciting to see him. And James Badgedell is great yeah. in everything he does. So that and everybody else in this cast really brought it home.